Hello guys, welcome back to Latest Debris. Um, so today on the headlines, Revolution Now, security officials shave off protesters' hair with broken bottles. Wow. This was the same thing I said in my last video. Nigerian army and police are foolish. Let me just... I, will, I want to start with that. Seriously. Okay. Um, security operatives deployed to disperse members of Revolution Now movement in Abuja have shaved off the hair of a protester with a knife and a broken bottle. Oh my god, how shabby. The victim revealed that the officers asked him to prostrate on the floor before one of them pulled out a knife, while another used a broken bottle to cut off, cut off his dreadlocks and shave his hair. The young man said that the security agents harassed him from wearing brown hair since he was not a woman. Another protester with bruises on his back, Damilari Adenola, said he was dehumanized and battered by the security operatives for taking part in the protest to demand better governance from the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. He said he was flogged with iron and chain and kicked to the ground for no reason. He said I was beaten by more than four soldiers and policemen. They slapped me several times and kicked me with boots. They also collected my phone and did not return it to me. It's unfortunate that this government does not accommodate civic space. There is no freedom of speech in Nigeria again. Have you um you just um you just heard what happened? So now let's see. Between the police and the army, who is the thief? You see those guys up there, they are thieves. I know the funniest thing. The police and army, they are so foolish that they don't even know their rights. They are among the people. They, they, the police and army are the ones that are even meant to do this protest for us. They are the ones to start. That's, that's the thing. They are the ones to kick off the protest. So that when the government sees that the police and army are fighting and they, know, ah, they don't have any security agents to, um, to defend them, or the police and army are with us, they don't have any security agents to defend them, they will turn up to the police of Nigeria. But there will still be the same people and say, ah, this Nigeria had to. Now, this phone that they've collected from that guy, do you know what they are going to do? They will sell it. Imagine the mentality of Nigerians. Life goes on. Now you've beaten the person that was trying to fight for your rights. For your own rights. Someone is trying to protest for your rights. Was the person with a, was the person armed? No, he wasn't armed. Did you see any gun? Did you see any knife with the person you didn't see? But you are beating him. You are battering him. How shabby. How shallow. Nigeria needs real um, rejuvenation. They need, they need um, rebranding. Nigeria is... I'm, I will always say Nigeria is fucked up. Nigeria is finished. We have photos attached of the dehumanizing... The human, um, the um um this thing they do um the remaining um acts that they did to these young boys look at look at this um we have comments here so someone said nigeria is just a lawless country later they will claim that the policeman who did this has been dismissed my dear they have been dismissed but you will still see them in road safety work can you imagine Another comment here, men, they use button, but um, but to scrape and um, turn my guys dress to concrete. But seriously, our security agents don't get any sort of professionalism at all. There's actually no one checking the excesses of any of our armed personnel in Nigeria. The police are the least ranked amongst them. So they just toss a few out once in a while to make the populace think any of them really gives a damn about our fundamental human rights. If not for social media in Nigeria, how many of these kind of stories about them will get to the light of the day? Law, they laughed when it was hip hop. Now they are they are the receiving end. Another um comment here, Afonja people share no one gets sense. When they were protesting against Jonathan and supporting a well-known jihadist and by God, did they think they will get power back? The average Northerners don't regard us in the South as equals, but with all the education, you think it is directly proportional to wisdom. This is just the beginning. Okay, nice one. They haven't seen anything that today um yeah in the good them sabi. He that throws a stone to the sky be sure to wear iron helmet, not rubber back, not rubber. So, um, um, 
some um people we have another comment here them nigga it's all right shave everything pussy has revolution so we already the greedy motherfucker self-centered pussy ass nigga same mother f- oh god you, you um the um the words here are too the f word are too much revolution are for those who are apolitical so we is gonna be locked up soon and we will throw the key inside mediterranean sea okay another comment here this country is dead and buried a long time ago because we came out for a peaceful protest and all this is happening to us if not because of god and my speed i would have been caught and dealt with for no reason thank god for the speed you give me okay another comment here how that these protesters are disturbing the peace of nigeria and nigeria but i wish you other um um operation crocodile bite on them okay another comment i don't know the difference between wildlife and certain kinds of people from their act okay a comment here um um she be they were all happy when they were doing occupying nigeria juna did not emp- deploy security operatives to harm any protester they should enjoy the devil they enthroned okay it's just so bad that all the news about this revolution protest today from each part of the country reeks of bad and sad tales it's funny seeing the same freedom of speech and endless protest that was practiced Ill- easily and instrumental in bringing down um, good luck Ebele Jonathan during his tenure but now during the change regime it seems like Nigeria is still in a military regime I don't blame them because Nigeria would only read the news rant online and that's all we are quick to compare our environment with those that do enjoy easy process but we can't have we can't pay the price they pay no matter how minimal heard the Arab revolution that ignited in 2011 with an Algerian man burned himself and it led to the process that resulted in the end of bad government in neighboring Tunisia. But in my country, the youth prefer to be used. So, um, but in my country, the youth prefer to be used as political talks for peanuts. They prefer to protest for a looter to become president again because of small change and would only come out in crowd when a notorious looter do visit their community. Because of the money, he would drop for them i once thought our problem is poverty but now i think it's more of ignorance because if we really know a little about our value to them and the fact that these leaders have nothing without us we will take the right step but as for me and my household i will keep hoping for a better nigeria okay um the last comment here before i drop something um um i'll read a last comment Hungry security officials say Boko Haram did chop like shoes here, shaking my head. Okay, about this protest, I want to drop a word also. If we want to protest in Nigeria, we have to protest for the right reason. We do not have to protest because we are protest. We just have to stand up and protest for what is right and not what is wrong. Even if during the process it's a peaceful protest and the security officials should learn not to hurt the citizens because they aren't armed, they are just carrying ply cards. And no, seriously, we need to stop this. Nigeria needs a revolution. Okay, so that is it for today. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and have a nice day, please. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and please like this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Drop your comments. We'll be watching from the comment section. Have a nice day.